ready. We vote. <laughs> Let's do it. Welcome back to the tiny wee boat. My name's Hannah and it's day 20 of us renovating this 23 foot wilderness beaver. It's meant to be a really hot day again today so I'm sure I'll mention it a few times in the video. Victor's just in the boat there. Yeah, there he is. So enjoy today's video. So in the morning, Victor started to put in more of the ceiling you can see that he is like measuring or making small measurements and small cuts to the hardboard to make sure that it all fits and works properly so i know you're wondering where's hannah she's always so helpful um, but i was actually making breakfast And although the first pancake was a fail, look at what we ended up with. Delicious. Okay, so we've chosen hardboard, not cardboard, for the roof. And <laughs> we've slid it in so that it sits behind these wooden panels and it can support itself. And this is just to make it look super beautiful. And we've got joining straps here that I'm just about to take the plastic off. Satisfying. <laughs> oh my god, that, this is the best part of the whole boat. Reno. God. You. This is the tiny wee building site. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so you know that the front of the boat had some serious sagging problems with the roof. We noticed that there was a slight sagging on the back of the boat now, so we just wanted to cover all bases, make sure it was completely stable before we put in the hardboard. So we created another beautiful art installation, put some more of that foam in the roof and left it to dry. Now I love this shot again because it's showing like the old versus the new and it really illustrates what, you know, where the boat has come from and what it's looking like now. We're just preparing for the insulation so Victor is cutting off any of the longer screws that are sticking out. No longer isolating just insulating. So in terms of insulation, you can see it there. We have went with 15 millimeter closed cell, self adhesive foil insulation. That was really hard for me to remember. Um, but the reason we've chose this, it's damp proof, it's rot proof. It's a really great option we feel for the boat and it was very easy to put in because it's self adhesive. So we loved it. I loved it even more because it looked like a disco ball. So I really thought we could just stick the insulation everywhere so that we've got like serious at the top, party at the bottom type boat. But um, that was a no from Victor. By the way, by this point the boat was like maybe 32 degrees or something, it was super hot. Um, but Victor again is just making sure there's no bits sticking out that will interfere or stop us sticking on the insulation.
we're covering the whole bottom part of the boat now but we will insert or we will cut out any ventilation that we have to once we've got the layout sorted. We took down the support that was holding up the roof as the foam set. It worked and strengthening the roof. It wasn't um, sagging down anymore. So we were happy with that. And then we put the hardwood to complete the roof. So that's the final joining strip in and the final piece of hardwood going up onto the ceiling. It was quite hard to fit, um, but eventually we got there. Another little clean and polish just to make sure we've got a tidy workstation. It's really important so we're not like tripping over things. Victor is sticking on the insulation everywhere. We have bought this rubberized mat for the back of the boat and we feel like it totally transformed it. Look at Victor doing a little happy dance. This is the new outboard motor thing. Victor made this from scratch. Beautiful. So this is old versus new. Like, look at what it was and look at what it is now. He's <laughs> a legend. <laughs> Underneath the wooden wall panels, we're going to be using the carpet. So we wanted to put on one piece now to see how it looked, make sure that it looked okay for us to continue. Just making sure that the wiring pulls through so that we don't need to like drill any holes or anything afterwards. Now Victor's putting on some special glue that will glue the carpet to the insulation and to the wall. The shot you've all been waiting for, this is really before and really after with the carpet. Now we're planning to have like a bed sitting area there, FYI. So this is our panel wood at the top, then we've got some lovely carpet at the bottom really delighted with how it looks we've only done this little section but yeah we're really happy it's been so hot today though so i'm not gonna lie i've not really done much other than melt victor's been a legend though and like fought through which is why we've managed to get this beautiful boat to where it is now So 
that's us if the sun is setting and you know what that means it's time for us to pack up today i did nothing i literally melted victor did everything like a legend for me it was too hot but i hope you've enjoyed today it's it's been like a really hard day so we're ready for the week so that we can get some rest and come back for the weekend um but thank you for watching and we will see you soon bye i'm so tired that i, for that I forgot to mention like how beautiful the roof is we've completed the roof and it looks amazing so yeah really happy Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Whoa, it's hot.